Zadarius Smith has been signed by Minnesota, and these signings are now two months old, right? The the what the hell month of March that caused so many big names to sign, like Von Miller signed, and apparently that is what affected Zadarius Smith's conversations with the Ravens. <laughs> and I, I don't blame him. You Tyree Kill's conversations and uh, were affected by Devontae Adams' conversations. We're waiting to see if the conversations between Arizona and Kyler Murray get affected by what happened with the guaranteed money to Deshaun Watson. That's, if you will, the high rent district and the signings that we all talked about in March and affected the way teams drafted in April. But now all the dust has settled. I decided to go deeper because that's what we do here on The Rich Eisen Show. We focus on things that require attention that everybody else has forgotten because we're on to other subject matters. We've moved on. And Patrick Beverly keeps talking (laughs) to give us new things to talk about. By the way, he's on the NFL coverage right now. That's odd. (laughs) It's very odd since the NFL Network is currently showing the Super Bowl between Seattle and Denver in New York City. It's very strange. I I saw Pat Beverly in NASCAR last night. Very strange that Pat Beverly's talking smack about that opening safety. Um, So at any rate, I put together the top five under-the-radar NFL acquisitions of 2022. And the NFL film's music means it's time to begin. Chris, you're going to like this one. Number five on the list. Number five on the list. I'm telling you, I'm biased, flat-out biased when it comes to this player who was one of the most dynamite college players did not do very well in Cleveland. Get it? Understand? Didn't do all that great. Didn't shine out in New York. But now he's coming to New England, and I'm telling you, the Patriots will know what to do with this guy, and he's going to suddenly ah. have the old fountain of youth, and even though he's still youthful. Jabril Peppers is a New England Patriot. Come on! And I'm telling you. I think I forgot that. <laughs> he is going to be terrific in this defense. They're going to figure out what to do. He's going to make plays. He's going to, quote, unquote, do your job. He knows how to do it. Bill loves Michigan players, as you know. Come on. And that's not just a Brady reference. Jabril Peppers is a uh, uh, an under-the-radar acquisition that's number five on my list. In. Number four, I had to choose two from Miami because they made a couple. And I'm saying this is part of the reason why Dallas isn't in all that great anymore. Or I shouldn't say there isn't as good as they were. Cedric Wilson on the Miami Dolphins is going to be, as the kids say, lit. And then you throw in Raheem Mostert to go with the running back room. Okay, that still has Miles Gaskin and a deep running back room. And somebody who can go in there and say, Mike McDaniel wants it done this way. Mike McDaniel likes it that way. And Mike McDaniel may like that guy more than anybody else that's already in there. He's one of the guys that he gets to bring into his situation. And Cedric Wilson, with everybody running and looking at Tyreek Hill and looking at Waddle, that guy, how many plays did he make for your Dallas Cowboys last year when things were not going well? I was disappointed to lose him for sure. The two of them together, I guess it's 4A and 4B on my list. Number three. I mentioned this guy as the number one sneaky good draft pick, James Cook, right? The Buffalo Bills acquired him, and I'm like, they got it done, man, this offseason too. And they've got an offense that's going to be unstoppable. The one way to stop this offense, I would say, is what? Get to the quarterback. Put the Mandalorian down on his ass, which you can't really do very often because that's not the way. It usually goes for the Buffalo Bills. Roger Saffold got signed in Buffalo. That's big. I think this is a huge addition to this offensive line. And nobody talks about it. Big man. We, we, we even lost this signing amongst the offensive line movement by the Cincinnati Bengals. I think Roger Saffold signing by the Buffalo Bills is an outstanding under-the-radar NFL acquisition to make the team that has Super Bowl aspirations even better and stronger. And now James Cook. So you got one of my best under-the-radar players that was acquired this March, along with the best sneaky good draft choice in April. 
The rich just keep getting richer. Here's number two on my list, and I... I don't know how this is going to work out, which I know isn't the greatest way to start how this is the the under-the-radar NFL acquisition. I'm assuming it's going to work out because guys who play in this defensive system usually do work out. Miles Jack is a Pittsburgh Steeler, folks. Uh Forgot about that. Now, I don't know if he's going to finally hit the point of his NFL odometer that caused Miles Jack to drop through the first round. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Everybody's talking about how he was hurt and he's only going to have four years in the league. He's not going to go have a very long career. I don't know if Jacksonville is concerned about that problem that he had. It was a broken bone, if I'm not mistaken, when he first got drafted. Yeah, I think you're right. And... Uh, Jim Mora was part of our draft coverage on the NFL Network, and we're like, "What's what gives, Jim? Like, how is this kid from your program dropping?" And it was a medical issue. If he's healthy and he can go sideline to sideline and he can go hunt, I like this guy in the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. We didn't ask Mike Tomlin about him. And hopefully, we will get him on again. I like him. He's number two on my list. Number one on my list. The most under the radar. Acquisition in the National Football League this entire offseason is Russell Gage going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. By the way, that happened. The Bucs went and got Atlanta's best receiver from last year. (laughs) Now you could say, oh, yeah, best receiver, Julio Jones is gone and he's not there anymore, and Calvin Ridley had a washout of a season. But this guy is good, and you know who's going to really get him involved? You know who's going to really love him? You know who's going to know how to get him involved? You know how he's going to still be involved once Chris Godwin comes back from a knee injury? Tom Brady's going to figure this thing out, guys. Russell Gage is on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we're all focused on everything else there. From Brady coming back, and Arians leaving, and Todd Bowles coming, and so on and so forth. And Brady's now got a Netflix deal, and Brady's now got a Fox (laughs) deal, and all of that. And amongst all of that, Russell Gage is a terrific wide receiver. And he's going to be with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'd be all over him in fantasy, folks, if I were you. And I think he is the top under-the-radar acquisition of the National Football League offseason. What do you think? Those are my five guys. Like that. When I saw Jabril Peppers went to the Patriots, I'm like, look out. Guy can punt return, return he can kicks. Do it all. Kind of do it all. Yeah. Especially when you look at, you know, Devin, uh, Devin McCourty is probably on his way out. I love Maybe him. Maybe his last year, you know, kind of grooming a replacement. At he's good. He's, he's one of those, if you will, football players that Bill is going to know exactly what to do. Yeah, with. let's hope we can tap into something there. I think you're going to. I think you're going you're to have to. That secondary is, you know, lost J.C. Jackson. Those gonna are the guys to, who yeah. we talk about. Those to. are the acquisitions we talk about. Yeah. These five, I think, are, are flowing under the radar. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.